Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to review the multi-position humane mousetrap. This is a really simple design. It's a plastic box. It has small holes for the mice to breathe and three ways for them to enter. One, two, and on this side, number three. It also has a trap door here you can open and let the mice go in the morning. The way these work is they enter the hole and there's a little one-way door that's a piece of metal right there that closes once they go in and then you catch them. You can catch multiple mice in here and then let them go in the morning. Let's go test how this trap works with real mice. First we'll use our pet tame mice just to see if they enter and get caught, see how it works. And then we'll set it up with motion cameras in the barn and see how this performs with wild mice. Well, the trap worked. Our mice went right in and we got two of them inside there. To release them, you just pull this door back and then you can let them out. But it looks like they like to hide in there. So this is a pretty good trap, but I really want to test it out with wild mice in the barn. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see if this will work on the wild mice. Here's the multi-position live catch mouse trap that I set up in the barn last night and there is a mouse in there. It entered through one of the three openings, went through that one-way door and got caught. It's hard to see them because of the dark plastic. With the motion cameras and the infrared light, this appears almost like clear glass, but in daytime it appears like a tinted window. It's hard to see. Because this is a live catch trap, I'm going to slide open that door and let him free. Now with the motion cameras I could tell he had a big bot fly. Let's see if we can see that it's on his back. Come on out little guy. There he goes. This is basically like the mice cube live catch trap, only with three openings, and it worked pretty well. 